Elizabeth Cosworth is famously known for the cat who went to heaven. Over her life, she produced over 90 books for children, many of which did not get published. Cosworth was born in Buffalo, New York in 1893. Her delight as a child was traveling with her family. At the age of 12, her family traveled to Europe and Egypt. It was at this time that Coatsworth began to gain interest in other cultures, which is a trademark of her writing. The Coatsworth family traveled the world until Elizabeth turned 18 due to her father's death. After her father's death, Coatsworth went to Vassar College, a private and upscale liberal arts school, where she gained her master's in English. After graduating from Vassar College, Coatsworth then went on to Columbia University. There she gained a master's degree in English. After graduation, Coatsworth went on to travel for 18 months throughout Asia. At the age of 36, Coatsworth married Henry Benston, a history writer. Together, they purchased a home in Hinhan, Massachusetts and lived there with their two daughters. Sadly, Benston died in 1968. Coltsworth lived alone with frequent visits from her family and her friends. In her last publication in 1976, Personal Geography, almost an autobiography, Coltsworth tells the world of her last days. Elizabeth Coltsworth died in 1986 at the age of 93. From the very beginning of her writing career, Coltsworth's stories are about life and traveling. The Sally series, which was written between 1935 and 1946, consists of five books which intertwine to be read as one very long book. The first of the Sally series, Away Go Sally, introduces the reader to the character of Sally. Set in the 19th century, the story is about a family of three sisters and two brothers who are raising an orphan niece, Sally. Uncle Joseph, the head of the family, works as a loggerhead. One day he is told by his boss that he no longer has a job. After telling his family that he is now unemployed, Uncle Joseph moves his family to their farm in Maine. The second installment of the Sally series is the Bushel Farm. Making herself at home, Sally recalls the many adventures she and her family had along the way. Winter has arrived and a terrible snowstorm has hit the farm. Caught outside in the storm, Uncle Joseph is in trouble. Thankfully, Sally is able to come to his rescue and take him back home. Besides saving her uncle Joseph, Sally also rescues a stray cat whom she later adopts. In 1931, Cotsworth's most famous book, The Cat Who Went to Heaven, was awarded the John Newbery Medal. At 71 pages in its first edition, The Cat Who Went to Heaven is the shortest book to win the award since it was first given in 1922. The Cat Who Went to Heaven is a story of a Japanese painter who comes into hardship and struggles each day with it. With his housekeeper as his only companion, the artist becomes more and more frustrated with his struggles. One day, the housekeeper brings an unexpected guest into the house, a cat. The artist refuses the cat and labels it the devil in disguise. After talking it over with the housekeeper, the artist agrees to keep the cat and names it Good Fortune, 
True to his name, good fortune brings just that to the artist. A priest asks the artist to paint a picture of Buddha to hang in the village temple. Good fortune was there whenever the artist would work on the painting. Because the artist felt sad that a cat was not included in the painting, he drew one anyway, even though he knew it would be rejected because cats are evil in Buddhist culture. After presenting the painting to the priest, it is not granted permission to be displayed in the temple. Though saddened by the rejection of the painting, the artist's heart is heavy with the joy and the love he gained from painting the painting along with good fortune and his housekeeper. When Buddha saw the rejected painting, he approved of it and hung it in his temple, though it was altered. Cat had been painted there is only white silk, but Buddha, whom the artist painting, is now reaching out and beneath his hand is a tiny cat. With the exception of her Newbery Award winner, all of Elizabeth Coltsworth's books are now out of print.